What's up guys, welcome to the video. So the last time I spoke to you guys about Everem was about just over a month ago now. We were talking about all the utilities that these guys had coming up. And since then they've gone ahead and released most of them. So head over here, last time when we talked about the staking which had just been released. Uh, now these guys have got the NFT minting that's working and the, the swap as well. As you can see here with the swap you can even go ahead and buy the token with fiat as well which is pretty cool for maybe you know family or friends or people that aren't really interested in in crypto can also manage to buy in using this swap the nft minting is also available so you guys can create your own nfts you know whatever jpeg whatever image you want you, you can go ahead and turn it into a turn it into a cool nft by all means that doesn't mean that everyone have now finished i mean we showed the the roadmap last time you know this crazy roadmap with all this stuff that they've got going on and as you can see now we go to march where the last time you can see all this stuff that they've completed with the with the wallets and the marketing and the and the nfts and all that kind of stuff and now these guys are moving into april again it just seems to be never ending the roadmap they've always got stuff for the investors to look forward to so next what's coming up they we're going to work on an nft marketplace uh game fire development you know this stuff's never ending really and uh so yeah let's go over ahead and check the chart we'll see how it's been doing since i first called it around about here i was saying that the, the chart seems to have bottomed out and they were going to really focus on marketing uh, which which they did and the price went all the way up to nearly a 3x i think from there roughly the free x then since uh the month of april you know as we've seen pretty much 99 percent of d5 projects it's been a really 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 tough place to be everybody's you know in panic mode and everybody's selling out of positions in most d5 projects so it's pretty normal to have seen a sell-off during the month of april and these guys seem to have come back down to this support level where this seems to now be where all the diamond hands of this project really are keeping a nice floor on this project so um yeah i would say now is definitely kind of a buying opportunity because i know these guys you know have been saying that they're going to pick up the market again from this point onward I think it also reflects itself in the in the staking protocol you can kind of see there's actually much less money in the seven day pool here if you then compare it to the bigger pools as the pools go on actually gets more money being staked in the higher pools because you know the people that are holding this floor on this level are, are long-term investors who, who really see the uh, the future in this token so i was talking about the marketing that these guys are going to start rolling out from now and you can go and see that over on uh, twitter so first of all they just started launching a marketing campaign on the brave browser now for those of you that don't that don't use it brave browser isn't alternate you know firefox or chrome browser something like that so, you know it's, it's much more suitable for crypto users so you know they have their own wallet on there and a few other cool unique features that you know you won't find on chrome or firefox or anything like that they have 55 million plus users 100k users daily and eight percent of the users invest in crypto because you know brave was created for um for that reason so not only that, the other thing I saw that was quite cool is these guys have made a partnership with a Japanese footballer that goes by the name of Kazuki Takahashi. Now, not to get mixed up with the guy of exactly the same name who created Yu-Gi-Oh, that's not the same guy. This guy's, a, this guy's a young bloke. I think he's maybe like 22, 23 years old or something like that. But he's a professional footballer or soccer player, depending where you're from in the world who plays in the Japanese leagues and actually he's an investor in Everend himself and he wants to help promote the project so these guys have made a partnership and they'll be helping the project out over the next three months so he'll be you know be wearing clothing and merchandise from Everend you know and obviously he's going to be on the television a lot playing football in Japan so it'll be some nice exposure there uh, not only that he has quite big following on social media this is his Twitter account, he's got 41,000, he's also got a big Instagram account and he'll be helping out with the promotions there as well. And uh, yes, that's just a start really, like I said last time, these guys are really going to pick up the market again now that the, the price seems to have bottomed out a bit. So as we can see, going back to the 
roadmap you can see here that these guys even during this month here they're going to really pick up the uh, the marketing again there it is now talking about the marketing that they're picking up and this is all going to lead up nicely to these new utilities that they've got coming up over the over the next month or so and uh, yeah so i just wanted to give you an update on this project anyone who listened to uh, the video that i did over a month ago you could have made a nice free x on that if you're still holding your position you'll be at break even now but obviously you would have been earning your 11 percent busd rewards and also if you were decided to stake your tokens and you're also earning extra tokens from that too and uh, so yeah so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today in today's video so thanks for listening as always and until next time bye